Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the spanning tree terminology of bridges. This is going to just be a short lecture, and I wanted to cover this before we get into the details of how spanning tree works. Okay, before we talk about the bridge, we need to talk about hubs. Hubs were layer one only devices which performed the same function as switches, which is connecting Ethernet LAN hosts to the network. So way back in the day, we used hubs, but you can't even buy them anymore now. They've been replaced by switches. Hubs, layer one only, so they did not learn MAC addresses like switches do. So they flooded all traffic out all parts apart from the one it was received on not just broadcast traffic but all unicast and multicast traffic as well flooded everywhere now hubs have been replaced we use switches instead in modern networks switches provide performance and security improvements over hubs by forwarding traffic which is to known unicast mac addresses only out the relevant port rather than flooding it everywhere but Early switches were expensive, had very few ports, commonly only two ports, and they were called bridges. They segmented lands which were built with hubs elsewhere. So if you have a look on the diagram here, you can see that the main part of our network is built with hubs. That's where we've got all of our hand hosts plugged in. But in between the two parts of the network that are built with hubs, we can put a bridge in there. The bridge is a layer two device and it learns the MAC addresses on both sides. So what a bridge did was it segmented that large collision domain into two smaller collision domains. Traffic would typically stay on one side of the bridge only it would move over if it had to move over because if the destination was on the other side. So bridges, they're basically switches, but they've only got around two parts on them. When layer two devices were first available before switches, we had bridges. So a switch is a multi-part bridge. Basically a bridge and a switch are the same thing, just that switches are modern devices and they've got more parts than bridges had. Again, just like hubs, you can't even buy bridges anymore. Now, spanning tree was invented back when bridges were in use, before switches were available, so it uses the terminology of the bridge, such as the root bridge and the bridge protocol call data unit. You'll learn what the root bridge and BBTUs are as we go through the rest of this section. Okay, so just a quick lecture to explain why the terminology uses the term bridge rather than switch. See you in the next lecture where we'll get into the details of how spanning tree does its job. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.